Yo, what's up, my peoples? All right. I'm out here kind of messing around with the, um, the Apollo. Also, um, update on my Kawasaki 800. I'm not going to be doing any more videos on it because I've made a deal on it. So, somebody else is going to take up the mantle on that, you know, with that project on. And don't need to be holding on to it. Somebody else will finish the project up. But I was out here trying to get the, um, get the signals. And what I, yeah, which I'm going to show you here. And we shall put it in on here. This would be red hat. It ain't gonna take but a second for me to put an end on it. So I'm just putting the the end on it here. Well, see, it ain't gonna take me about a second to get this deal here. Alright. So, check this out over here. Over here. As you can see, I got my flasher. Just so everybody can see that flasher relay. Oh, also, hopefully y'all can see this. See at the bottom of here, you got um, an L and a B. That's how it determines how you hook it up also. So, let me see. I'm going to hook that right there. And get back here because I want to let you see it flashing here. So I'm just going to touch to the hot. So that's going to signals there. You see, see, I got it to the hot right here. So that's what I'm doing out here. I, um, I still got to finish hooking in the switch. And everything, and then I can go from there. I'm thinking I'm gonna take this apart and hook the switch in here, just that way I keep the grounds together. I got the grounds here, just kind of taped up for both sides. And I just have them sitting, touching right here on the tank from my ground. I'm gonna just have to ground it, but I'll wait for the headlight where I can ground them all together. So I'm thinking I'll hook the switch in here, you know, to complete the circuit, you know, as it comes here, it goes to the switch, and from the switch back in, we should close the circuit out, make it a simple parallel circuit. So I'm going to take this and loosen, do that. Yeah, so I, I want to um, just kind of bring you out here and update y'all on it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably more than likely get some of this did, you know. And what I'll do is I'll like stitch the videos together, so you know it won't be so short. So I'm gonna catch y'all shortly if I get some work did. Okay, time for a progress update. Look right here. Yellow wire going to the yellow on the switch. On the other side, we got the yellow wire going to the green. Um, the yellow is the right signal, and the green is the left. The blues and the whites is horn, and um, I'm gonna use one for light also. 
the red is your main your main power as you can see I run it from here down well down which is here back to my two pin flasher to the L and then the other one comes from there to the battery there. let's see if you can't um, tighten this up you keep moving on me okay let's see if I can't give you a quick show here all right we're gonna hit you to the, to the right you see nice flashers let's go to the left nice flashers sweet now the horn is gonna be the easiest one and so is the, it's the, um, the light and from here I run the um, the wires which I already hooked in you remember I hooked those in earlier I run those all the way to the front to here I already have it grounded I already have the back grounded I have to run me a power lead to the power which I want to put me a, a fuse in all of this so I'm, I'm give me a fuse I'm gonna put me a fuse in, inside of all of that and I'll run the other one to the front here. Also up front, I grounded those up here on this nut here, these two. And I'm going to ground the horn and the headlight up here also. So those are all going to be on a good solid piece of metal. So I call that good progress, you know. Good progress. Plus I'm liking those little signals. I was also wondering kind of worried about you know because if you, the more the more of a load you put on it it could change the way the um, it flashes you know it, it, because LEDs pull maybe a third of the juices of regular bulb so that's why you have to put like resistors in them so that they won't blink real fast to hype that hyper blinking unless you get a LED relay which is what I got and if your LED relay some of them have the adjusters on them and you can just take a flash screwdriver and adjust it to the, to the blinking I forgot what how many blinks per cycle it is but you know so that's looking good I'm liking it Apollo coming along I'm hoping I get that that headlight tomorrow if I get that headlight tomorrow I could pretty much go ahead and Stop playing around and go ahead and put it all together where I could uh, take it out on the street, <laughs> on the main roads. <laughs> oh, you know, I will have no problems at all, you know. So, hey, hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all may have learned something from it, you know. If you, you know, because you could always pause the video or rewind it or whatever to get, you know, how to put your relay in or how to test your light, how to test your switch. Oh yeah, I also test these by doing ohms. I didn't put didn't no voltage to them. I used to ohm, my ohm meter and tested those to get the ohms to know which was which, because I didn't want to open it up. I had already put it on the bike, so I just used the ohm meter. So I hope y'all like this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank y'all. Guess what I forgot to show y'all. She off. She on. She off. She on. <laughs> like and subscribe, man.